Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve two five mark questions from Triangles chapter, which had appeared in CBSC Board Exam 2025. So let us start with the first question now. The corresponding sides of triangle ABC and triangle PQR are in the ratio 3 is to 5. AD is perpendicular to BC and PS is perpendicular to QR as shown in the following figures. The first question is, prove that triangle ADC is similar to triangle PSR. So to solve the first question, let us write down the given data first. So it is given that the corresponding sides of the triangles ABC and PQR are in the ratio 3 is to 5. So here the side AB from triangle ABC corresponds to the side PQ from the triangle PQR. So this side will be corresponding to this side. So we have written AB over PQ over here is equal to the side BC from triangle ABC corresponds to the side QR from the triangle PQR. So we have written here BC over QR is equal to. Now the last side is going to be the side AC from triangle ABC corresponds to the side PR from triangle PQR. So here we have written AC over PR. So all these will be equal to the ratio 3 is to 5. So the ratio 3 is to 5 is written as a fraction over here that is 3 over 5. Now since all the sides of the first triangle are in proportion to the sides of the second triangle, the triangle ABC is going to be similar to the triangle PQR that is by SSS similarity criterion. So here we have written triangle ABC will be similar to triangle PQR by side 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 similarity criterion. Now once we have got this, we can say that the angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. Now here we have considered angle C is equal to angle R as we need those angles to prove that the triangle ADC is similar to triangle PSR. So we have written it over here. Now let us focus on the first question that is prove that triangle ADC is similar to triangle PSR. Now here we have redrawn the given two triangles for easy reference. Now in these two triangles let me highlight ADC and PSR. So these are the triangles we need to concentrate on. So in these two triangles angle ADC is equal to angle PSR because both are 90 degree angles as it was given in the question that AD is perpendicular to BC and PS is perpendicular to QR. So we have got our first angle over here and we have got just now that angle C is equal to angle R since triangle ABC was similar to triangle PQR. So we have got two angles same therefore the triangle ADC is going to be similar to triangle PSR by angle angle similarity criterion. So we have proved that these two given triangles are similar. Now let us focus on the second sub question given that is if AD equal to 4 cm find the length of PS. Now here we have reconsidered the given figures and since we have proved that the triangle ADC is similar to triangle PSR the corresponding sides of these two triangles will be in the same proportion. So here the side AD over its corresponding side PS will be equal to the side AC over its corresponding side PR. And it was given in the question that AC over PR will be in the ratio 3 is to 5. We have written these two fractions equal to 3 over 5. Now in the question the value of AD is given that is 4 centimeters. So we have written here 4 over we need to find out the length of PS is equal to AC over PR is going to be 3 over 5. Now we are going to take PS on the other side of equal to sign and at the same time we are going to take this fraction 3 over 5 on the other side of equal to sign. So we get here PS is equal to now 4 gets multiplied with this fraction flips giving us 5 over 3. So here the value of PS we get is 4 times 5 that is 20 over 3 centimeter. So this is going to be our answer. If you want to convert this into decimals you can convert it or you can keep it as a fraction. Now moving on to the third sub question. Find the area of triangle ABC is to area of triangle PQR. So here we know that the area of the triangle is given as 1 over 2 times base times height. So here we have considered again the given two triangles and here we need to find out the ratio of area of triangle ABC to area of triangle PQR. 
So here we have written the ratio as a fraction. So area of triangle ABC over area of triangle PQR will be equal to, now the area of triangle ABC becomes 1 over 2 times, now base of this triangle is BC and the perpendicular height is AD over, now area of triangle PQR becomes 1 over 2 times, now the base of this triangle is QR and the perpendicular height is PS. So here 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 divides itself giving us BC over QR and AD over PS. So here we get, now in the question we had been given that BC over QR were in the ratio 3 is to 5, so we have written it over here, times, now AD over PS, so here we had got AD over PS as 3 over 5. So here we have written 3 over 5 times 3 over 5, giving us 3 times 3 as 9 and 5 times 5 as 25. So the ratio of areas of these two triangles will be equal to 9 is to 25. So we have converted this fraction again back to the ratio. Now let us move on to the OR question. State basic proportionality theorem. Use it to prove the following. If three parallel lines L, M and N are intersected by transversal lines Q and S as shown in the adjoining figure, then AB over BC is equal to DE over EF. So here we have to first state the basic proportionality theorem. The basic proportionality theorem, also known as Thales theorem, states that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, it divides the other two sides proportionally. So this is the statement of the basic proportionality theorem. You have to just give the statement. You do not have to prove this over here. Now. Let us focus on the second part of this question. Here it is given that there are three parallel lines that is L, M and N and two transversal lines that is line Q and line S divides these three parallel lines. So here we have to prove that AB over BC will be equal to DE over EF. So let us consider this figure over here for easy reference. So here we have redrawn the given figure. And here we need to make a small construction. That is we are going to join the point A with the point F as you can see. So this line divides this figure into two triangles. The first triangle is triangle ACF and the second triangle is ADF. So let us focus on the first triangle. So here we have written join AF intersecting the line M at point G. So in triangle ACF the line BG is parallel to the line CF and according to the basic proportionality theorem, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, then it divides the other two sides proportionally. And since BG is parallel to CF, the line BG divides the side AC and AF proportionally. So here we get AB over BC is equal to AG over GF and let us consider this as equation 1. Similarly, let us now consider the triangle ADF. So in triangle ADF, the line GE is parallel to the line AD. So again by using the BPT, we can say that the line GE divides the other two sides of this triangle, that is DF and AF proportionally. So here we have written EF over DE is equal to GF over AG. Or we are going to reciprocate this equation. So we are going to flip this fraction. So EF over DE becomes DE over EF is equal to. Now GF over AG, we are going to flip it upside down, giving us AG over GF. Now we did this because in the equation 1, we can see that we had got AG over GF. So here also we have tried to get AG over GF. That is by flipping this equation. And let us consider this as equation 2. Now if we compare equation 1 and equation 2, we can see that the right hand side fraction is same. So we can write AB over BC is equal to DE over EF. So here we have written from 1 and 2 or comparing 1 and 2, we get AB over BC is equal to DE over EF. Now this is what we had to prove and we proved it using the basic proportionality theorem. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. 
and thank you for watching